Hey, I'm Drew. Hey, I'm Levi. We're ODL, ODL. and you're watching Celeb Mix. Backstage at your London show, on your first tour. Yeah. yeah. Side team. <laughs> And so people might not know you as ODL, they probably know you from the Tide. Mm -hmm. So just like have to start off and ask like what went on with the Tide and how come you like form separately? Well, we all just um, had a mutual agreement just that it would just be better off if we just, you know, we, we wanted to do different things and different types of music, each of us. And we all just had like a mutual thing and, you know, we're all friends now, but like Austin wanted to do different types of music and Nate wanted to do different types of music and you know we did too and yeah. we just all agreed like maybe this is just for the best like the time is a great experience but time to move the next chapter in your life you know and we just all decided it's what was for the best and you chose the name ODL so how did that yeah. like come about it was, it was in my kitchen <laughs> <laughs> we, we pondered over a name for months oh my gosh I, we went through hundreds of names yeah like, we, we went through like papers name generators and yeah, like everything real. but we wanted something with like like initials and we were in my kitchen my, we were com complaining over a name my dad was like you guys are like dysfunctional you cannot figure out anything blah 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 and um, we're, we're like ding that's pretty that's cool it. so we're like so it stands for our dysfunctional life is that anything anything to do with your initials or was that no, everyone, everyone, thinks thinks that. That. everyone thinks that everyone thinks like only Drew and Levi yeah we're just like no it just happens to work out that way I mean yeah. it kind of does work out though yeah that's got it's deeper than that yeah oh, guys. <laughs> no it means guys. more yeah <laughs> So what can we expect from your new music? Like what kind of vibe? Uh, like? I'd say like it's kind of like EDM pop, like Chainsmokers esque kind of. But um, I think how we make it different is incorporating just like live instruments. Like uh, we incorporate guitars. Like we'll do that with our live show too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but I'd say EDM pop's a good yeah, EDM genre. Pop. So you said Chainsmokers. Is there anyone else who you kind of list as? like an inspiration mm. for this um, music I'd say for our live shows I'd say all time low yeah. um, just basing their live show like we grew up watching their live shows and stuff and we just love the way they act on stage and how they perform it's very energetic and very high energy um, but yeah for the music I'd say Chainsmokers is a great yeah Chainsmokers like, is about what else like, I mean like Chainsmokers it was like Calvin Harris yeah I mean, it has Calvin like Harris. Bits, like kind of like neighborhood with like the way he sings stuff I love um I'm trying to think of that. It's like Zed, all that stuff. I mean, it's like it's a big mixture of like the EDM, but it's more like on the pop side of like lyrical. Yeah, and then we we'll, and we sing it as well because a lot of EDM artists, I mean, out there just like I have just other perform. artists. Yeah, have other artists sing for them, and they'll just like have a feature. But I think what sets us apart is that we play the instruments, and then we'll sing on the whole song. You know, but yeah. What are your plans for like a single release or any music videos that you've got coming up? Yeah, after um, this tour, this tour is pretty much to set apart, um, test out the songs, see how they would go, and after this is when we plan to release the singles, make the music videos, and the actual EP for everything that we've done so far to come out. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we're planning. We haven't announced anything yet, but yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen this year. This year's going to be big for us. Um, go a lot more places, release a lot of music, because we have a lot of music, so it should be soon. So lots to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. lots. So, I mean, this is obviously the first time some people have actually heard your songs on tour. Mm -hmm. So what's the response been like so far? Oh, it's just been way better than we expected. Like, Because yeah. we just put little snippets out in our vlogs. We never released the songs yet. And we go on stage and they sing every single word back. And we're just like... We were like in shock. Like the first show, we were just like, crazy, oh my gosh. It's been so good. So good. That's crazy, actually, that you've not, actually, you've not released them. Not really. I know. Yeah. 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 Like every song. Wow. It's unreal. I have a few questions from your fans as well yeah. on Twitter. Um, so yeah, I put this out yesterday, got loads of responses. So first one is from ODL New Zealand, oh. global. Um, have you ever read fan fiction about yourselves oh, online? By far? We actually planned to do a video on the fan fiction, yeah, but it was really? so long. It was so I mean, bad. It was so bad and so long. <laughs> I mean, there was like 13 pages and it was just like... I've read some pretty uh, graphic stuff. It's pretty scary. I'm just yeah. like, oh. Wow, like stuff with me yeah. and Drew, I'm just like, I'm just like, wow, you wrote that, wow, okay, <laughs> okay. But yeah, I've, I've definitely read some weird things. But. That's an, an interesting topic. Yeah. 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 
Jessica wants to know if you were to be born with a superpower, what would it be and why? Oh, man. Flying, 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 yeah, dude. flying, hands down. Flying would be so cool. Well, I mean, teleporting would be cool too, but like, the flying. flying would be a lot more fun. <laughs> And this is ODL London as well, so people oh, seem to oh, say yeah, like... we got, we got yeah, a whole yeah. street team all yeah, over the world. We got that ODL worldwide. <laughs> and they want to know, what's your favourite thing about the UK? Oh, gosh. Nando's. Nando's. And, and, and yeah. the fans here are incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, what else was it? I was going to say the weather, but the weather's been so <laughs> cold here. Um, we, we literally, like, the first thing we did when we came here, we were like, we got to get Nando's. So, yeah. like, so, like, we're deprived of it. It's been a year. Um, and the biggest thing too was the fans. It was so good seeing it. I mean, they were outside waiting for us for like hours in the snow, and it's just like, why? <laughs> it's so cold out. But they're so supportive, and they're yeah. so. I think over here, um, just the fans. They they get more into the music. I mean, it's like that everywhere you go. Like some places are mm -hmm. more or less into the music than the others, and like over here, they're they're definitely crazy at like live shows and stuff. Yeah. There's people outside already as well. Oh, I, I saw know. Them before. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a have you got a favorite place in the UK actually? Oh, yeah, and why you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I love Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham. Uh, it's just it's just was always good. I mean, I love every place, and then Manchester is good too. Um, I mean, they're all good though. That's the thing. Like, there's different things about each one that I yeah. like. Like, I like London. Like when we used to go to the mall and watch movies and oh stuff. Oh my gosh, we'd always go to the the West Guild over here, and we yeah. would just watch movies like every day. Yeah. <laughs> Really expensive, but it's fun. <laughs> the final question from fans, ODL New Zealand says, what's the craziest thing a fan's ever done whilst on tour? Oh, man. Has, like, done on tour? Yeah, like, I don't know. This one time, dude. Example. This one time, do you remember, it was, like, one of the first tours ever. Um, I was 17 at the time. We were walking out. It was Manchester. We were walking out of a show. There was fans crowding, like, the bus and stuff. And this mom, oh, the mom, the mom yeah, it was oh, just this like mom, right? And she was with like her daughter, and her daughter was like maybe like ten, and um, the mom grabbed onto me and wouldn't let go of me. So like Davey pulled me in the van, like pulled me in the van physically because you know it was crowded and there's a lot of fans. And he pulled me in the van, and the mom just wouldn't let go. So the mom fell over on the curb oh, yeah. and pulled her daughter down with her because she wouldn't let go of me. So that was pretty crazy. The mom was more of a hard card. I don't know why. But mom, just, mom just dig me. I don't know why. But, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty all right. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's pretty crazy, crazy but yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Have you been meeting a lot of fans and stuff? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. That, that's, yeah. It's really good, too, because we haven't been here for a while. And, like, mm -hmm. a lot of these fans we've met before, and, like, we know them, and we see them on Twitter all the time. And it's just good to be back, finally, and finally yeah. to see them again. So I do have a little game plan if yeah. someone has a Sharpie. Yeah. Um, basically, it's, like, how well do you know each other? Okay. So oh, we know everything about really? each other. Well, we'll see. I think a little too much. <laughs> yeah, sometimes a little too much.